I'll follow you. That was a deal, right? Fill it.
to hit the road. Wonderful. I look forward to traveling with you.
Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need... What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Well, maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive, and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. from this thing and make something that's easier to move around. Granddad always said you need to make a record when you start something. You know, in case you have to go back to it. So, I guess I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I should start with an inventory of all the parts I found? Kasumi! Your father needs help with the boat! I'll be right there. Oh, damn. Is that recording now? Ugh. Project blog, Radiation King Television. Mom says these things actually used to broadcast pictures and sounds back before the war. She also mentioned that some of the ruins of the television studios are still around if you head to the city. Of course, she wasn't too happy when I asked if we could make a trip out there. Ugh, I'm getting off track. I managed to repair the vacuum tubes and got the power working again, but, well, it's not like there's any working signal for this thing to receive. I'm just going to start stripping this thing for parts moving forward. Project log, radio. Correction, working radio. I'll find 
finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Project log, strings. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I... Hope I don't have it again tonight. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company and Kenji can be... overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her. Got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter. Her life is in jeopardy. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again. But there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective.
myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but God, where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths, synthetic people, made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Excuse me, Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Do you find anything? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, Detective? I think Kasumi took off somewhere up north. Do you know what's up there? Where specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze. But that's a lot of miles. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenzie? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. Head over there.
This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Moonlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! You do. We might not be able to rescue you in time. Man the fall! Something's out there! You sure you saw something? This ain't a grill! What the hell? I sealed everyone! The gate! Open the gate! I've got wounded out here. There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gophers! Oh, God! Defend yourselves! Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. And for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Humans live in the fog, thrive. 
You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. If you managed to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. Fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know, as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away. People like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Mariner. The whole took a battery. Be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. The only one keeping the harbor afloat. Besides Captain Avery. Why doesn't anyone help you? Each harborman is the captain of his own ship. Worked fine for generations on the homesteads. Your land, your rules. But when the island pushed them onto my dock, one by one, the ungrateful bastards expect me to look after my land, even though they're squatting on it like wretches. If it's that bad, why put up with it? I couldn't very well toss them back into the fog, could I? Bad luck, that. Surely their spirits would haunt me to my grave. And that's a fact. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. <laughs> but there is... I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools, and they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. You've kept the walls together this long. 
Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper. Make it strong. And keep those blasted crabs out. Good. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Protect your loved ones with my fine hands. Alan. Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. Don't you want a helping hand? Hell no. Once you start leaning on people, soon you can't walk no good on your own. What happens next time when you ain't here, huh? You're the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. What's your problem with the children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. Instead, we let them in. All in secret from wherever they're holed up. They've been feeding the fog. Getting it stronger. Strong enough to push us all out of our homesteads. Further and further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. Do you have any proof that they've fed the fog? Proof? We wait for that and we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Look, in my daddy's time, the fog was a nuisance. Something you avoided. Now every day it gets stronger. It's like the fire's a hell out there. Because of the children. I'll take a look. You got it.
<clears throat> Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. What's your story? Just a guy trying to make a few caps. Speaking of which, buying anything? Let's see what you have. Let's set you up. Hey. You another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. Wait. No. <laughs> it's a mainland. Well, welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctoring, speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. Who's Andre? Poor Andre is my patient over there. He spit too long a spell in the fog. You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but we got our own special brand here. I know a few things about medicine. Can I try to help him? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. Well, I suppose there's no harm letting you have a poke. But I'll be watching you. Let's take a look. Mm. 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 
Well, I'll be. I think you may have done it. I'll keep looking after Andre. But I think thanks to you, he's got a fighting chance. Hey, Doc. Need some doctoring? Let's see your stuff. What? Oh, yeah. Trade. Excuse me. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything in it. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war, it was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Wait, are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there. Waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Where did you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Pete. on this island now, whatever the fuck that means. <clears throat> I just saw flickering lights by Eden Meadows. All unnatural. Ah, you're one of them bald people with the funny suits. <clears throat> Need to drown your troubles? Talk to Mitch, the last blank. like you stands no chance against the crawlers. Excuse me. I could use time. Long. Excuse me. Don't talk to Bertha. She's crazy. Hi there. You still here for some reason? Get lost. I don't need your charity. Hey there. Not on a fun. Hi there. Mm. Mm. Hey. 
Mainlanders don't last long on the island. Hey there. What's your order, sweetie? What do you have to drink? All sorts of old world booze. We carry Vim, too. And before you ask, Vim is an islander favorite. But it may pack more punch than the stuff you're used to. Can you take my order? Certainly. Hey, the deep fall. There's things out there. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Three beer for ya. Ha ha! You give away free drinks often? A fully stocked bar ain't no use to a corpse, is it? Ha! What's the catch? Not a catch to be found. A full bar ain't no use to a corpse. So, drink up! If you stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? What's so special about the fog on the island? Can you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's alive. You walk inland and it'll blanket you up in no time. Geiger don't get you. The madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. The fog can drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. But many just got lost in the fog for too long. And the mind goes. If you have any sense, return where you came from, and don't look back. If it's so dangerous, why do you stay? This is our home. If you call yourself a proper man or woman, you don't give up on that. Besides, we all gotta die. Might as well do it with your long knife deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. Ha! Now I could use a drink. Music to the ears. Life's too bloody Captain short. Captain Avery to said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty. <laughs> I'm done leaving people to their deaths. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like them. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone, to live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. What's a fog condenser? The condensers are a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellows got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. I'm not some no-name mainlander. I'm tough enough for your little island. Sling a bit of lead on the hull, and now you think you're ready to walk in the fog, do you? Things you'll see inland make that look like a Sunday stroll. If you don't give a damn about mainlanders, what do you care if I die out there? Don't care much. But I got better things to do than guide fools to their deaths. Really? Do I look like your average mainlander? Truth be told, no. This goes against my better judgment. I could get you to Acadia, but you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, rad X and the like, and then the real work can begin. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my lurks out there. 
Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. We're the only bar in town. Damn. Learn anything interesting, sir? Everyone! Everyone! We're trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouth! Open! Let's get out of town. Acadia is above the fog. Old Longfellow knows he's a bit of a high. You might want to take this for the road. You need work? Talk with the mayor. Lord knows she's always going to have a little help. help. We need to move through the old mountain trail. Was real. The fog ain't like nothing to see. Hold position. Come on. You're not half bad in the scrap. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a prop to fuck off them. See the fog in your number. Get you all turned around. That's something to bring. Trappers will mean to begin with. Now. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. Game trails crisscross the road, so don't be surprised if we got local wildlife to deal with. Young lad, no higher than your knee. Whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this had happened before.
to move. One more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those too? Who's she? One of them children of Adam preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures. And instead... Seek the only true master of this land. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about Adam. Tell you? Look around. You stride through his kingdom. A land blanketed beneath sacred fog. A land Adam has claimed for his children. And you may join our family if he deems you worthy. Worthy? What do I have to do to join? There is a ritual his children must perform. If you succeed, you will be rewarded with entrance into our family. On second thought, I'm good. So be it. But I would be mindful where you step. After all, you are in Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. The gate is not too far now. Katie has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You say you want me to stick around and watch your back? Maybe later, Long Tom. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. Whiskey's running low. Better find some more, and soon...
first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling, but I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a sin? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question, and the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie, that someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? I'm a human being, not a sin. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I'm not going to tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory in the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. Operated on. And then, I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them, but I do remember being quite content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours? You're treading on very personal territory. Back off. Okay. You're not ready to have this conversation. Whatever you believe, we will accept you for who you are, synth or human. Thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm glad to hear it. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there anything else you need from me? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, 
hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No programmed task, no false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave, just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps you were in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something useful. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean... Those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal. <laughs> Me and Dima are so close, but... 
Security on it is crazy. Eavesdropping on the next meeting sounds like our best bet. I'll see if I can find a way inside that room. Okay. Good luck. And come back as soon as you found anything. Stay there. Understood. Please be careful, sir. We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island, the same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac and he's gonna keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight, but at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have and what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have. But I've 
run some projections of worst case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Moving out. Heads up. Over here. Katie is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Hey, Kasumi. Dima has secrets. We have to find out what he's really up to. Let me know when you've found something. So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but how are things there? 
you think of the Commonwealth as back home? Aren't you a simp? Well, certainly. Why wouldn't I? It's where I came from. I would like to see it again someday, once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Hmm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. I'm new here too, huh? I mean, I haven't been here that long myself. Honestly, I'd be dead right now if it weren't for Chase. Turns out it's pretty hard to live as a synth in the Commonwealth. Do you think you're better off now that you're here? Oh, absolutely. I don't have to pretend, I don't have to lie, and I don't worry that someone's gonna kill me in my sleep. Or worse. I'll see you around, okay? somebody bought the mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? What do you mean, mind wipe? Oh, for fuck's sake. You're a synth on the run. You go to someone, you get a new face, and they wipe your mind so the Institute can't find you. Only somebody screwed mine up. <laughs> so here I am. Now just please leave me alone. <clears throat> Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I'm just taking a look around. Sure you are. Just of your own accord. No particular reason. Nothing to do with that Kasumi girl, right? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Is there anything you care about? I mean, staying alive is preferable to not. Beyond that, what's the point of caring? Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have any, but let me know anyway. I've got a few minutes to browse. The best Acadia has to offer coming right up.
So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? You're the one who lives here. What do you think of it? Well, I... I think it's all rather compelling. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it, and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. So what exactly are you doing? As much as I can, given limited resources cataloging specimens, observing evolutionary trends, compiling data for future generations. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy, but I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. What can you tell me about Acadia? It was originally a place of science. I like that about it. Feels like home in a way. I don't mean the Institute when I say home. More that, uh, I don't know, that abstract feeling of belonging someplace. We all belong here, in our own way. Dima's to be thanked for that. Turns out, Dina's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what these death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam were. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get the children of Adam, of course. About the children of Adam, what do you know about them? Well, I heard about them a little bit back in the Commonwealth. Radiation worship, something like that. I wasn't in Far Harbor long, but there's a lot of hatred for them there. I overheard someone talking about killing a child of Adam missionary. I can see why Dima would be worried. We just need to make sure we know he's not up to something else. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data helping you through any security guard yet. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here.
So, say I get the memory. What then? If it's something that would really threaten the islands, then it's better out of the hands of the children of Adam. Or Far Harbor, even. And if Dima really can't be trusted, we'll have his own memories to confront him with. I'll get Dima's memories, and then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck. Katie has been so welcoming. I still can't believe this is real. Don't get too comfortable. The island's not a safe place. You need to stay on your toes.
my systems are continuing to function at peak efficiency. Hold. I'd rather accompany you, but it's your decision.
Yes. Sweet. Got it. Hey. Over here!
here, sir. I will ensure your safety to the best of my ability. Victor, please, you can't do this. We've been it's loyal. It's zealot to you, and your dedication has come into doubt. You need to prove your faith. One of you may return to the fold. The other will return to Adam. Richter, this is insane. You can't expect us to... Will there be anything else? That'll be all, sister. Thank you, grandson. send you well, what's your problem with far harbor those heathens persecute our missionaries and use profane technology to steal land that rightfully belongs to adam I'm not sure which sin is worse and i want you to assure me you're not here to do their bidding what profane technology are you talking about acadia's little lifeline to that den of sin the fog condensers. The only reason they're able to hang on to that blasted dock. Information you'd be well aware of if they'd sent you. So, explain to me why you're trespassing on sacred ground. Unless you're here seeking a place among Adam's children. Adam's children? Who are they? We are the children of Adam. Servants of the creator of this and all worlds. You walk through his domain. What do you mean, his domain the island you've seen the fog heard the geiger counter on your little bracelet pipe up that is adam spreading his glow across this land and that glow is the path to our salvation so you worship radiation we worship its ability to transform to create something better why that idea called to you what was happening with those two children of Adam you were, uh, interrogating? An issue of loyalty. Not something you need to concern yourself with. Now, unless you've come to join Adam's faithful, I suggest you go in your way. I'm interested in joining. Sign me up. Decisions of who may enter our family we leave to Adam. You'll have to perform a ritual. Prove yourself worthy in his eyes. By doing what? Exactly. There is a small spring not far from here. Those chosen by Adam drink and are granted something. A token. An experience. Those not chosen rarely return. All right. I'll do what Adam requires. Then let us hope he deems you fit. Go to the spring. Drink. You come back, we'll discuss you joining the faithful.
needs a password. There must be some clue around here. M O T H E R. Mother? Could that be the password?
Heads up. Yes, sir. was mistaken. Find anything useful? and a lifetime supply of power. I couldn't ask for more. Excuse me. Hmm. I'm back. More than I expected. That's Did Adam reveal something to you? They're gone. I drank from the spring, and the woman led me to this icon. Does this mean something? A woman? Led you to that icon? What woman? What did you see? It was... <laughs> Otherworldly. 
the woman, she was like a living shadow, cloaked in mist. Adam above, you really did see her. The mother of the fog. The mother is a messenger from Adam. Acts as a guide to those important to his plans and the future of this family. She's the one who led the first of us to this place. And if she revealed herself to you, then I'd say the path he's laying for you is clear. If you are prepared to take the next step, then I believe there is a place for you among Adam's children. You mind if I ask you some questions first? If you must. So, what exactly happened to me at the spring? Seems Adam granted you a vision. Only those deemed worthy of joining the children have them and live. But for some rare souls, he sends more. A messenger. Or in your case, the mother. So, was the mother real? Most people believe she's some sort of spirit, a creature of the wilds. Though a few claim she's just an old hermit. Regardless, our family wouldn't be here without her. If she figured in your vision, well, there are few signs clear you're meant to be one of us. What can you tell me about the children's beliefs? Our belief is in Holy Adam, who struck this world two centuries ago, wreathing it in his glow. That glow is the children's way out of this place, to division. What's division? Release. Release of your potential, of all the worlds locked away inside you, broken apart and reborn a thousand times over through the glow. Island's the perfect place for it, thanks to the fog, the nucleus, glow everywhere. With patience, we'll all find division in this place. Are you willing to tell me what was happening between you and those two children when I showed up? Our family is built on trust. Many people on this island would kill us without thought. Those two needed to prove they could be trusted. One did. That was all the questions I had. You're ready to take your place among Adam's children, then? Sure, I'm willing to learn. Good. Head inside and present the icon to the High Confessor once his sermon is done. He'll be interested to see that. Once you've spoken with him, you should come see me. I have a task I think you'd be useful for. And here, some more appropriate attire. But know this, we are all devoted servants to Adam here. Messenger or no, actions against the family will not be tolerated. Welcome, brother.